Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Similar story to Bitcoin. We have been coming down here in this wave structure, which nearly got invalidated uh, yesterday. Yeah, with this peak here. But the invalidation point was 1918 and it did only go all the way up to 1916, 1915. So the direct downside path was not invalidated and uh, therefore we continue to follow it. Interesting again that this inverse head and shoulders as a typical retail pattern did not work out. I don't know. Um, I'm not really watching other channels, so I'm not sure, but I'm sure this was highlighted on many channels. I mean, I did talk about it as well, but I yesterday I mentioned to you that if something is too obvious, it sometimes is just wrong and, and may not work. Um, either way, whatever we look at, we can only look at what's happening now, look at the present, not really speculate about the future. So I always like the idea of just sort of trading in the present, analyzing just what we see, because we can only analyze what we see. And at the moment, the price is just following the direct downside path. It didn't invalidate the direct downside, so it's just following it. The idea was that after a peak would occur here, a third wave to the downside would start. And the third wave, if you know a little bit about Elliott wave, or if you've been um, following my analysis for a few days or even weeks, then you know that a third wave is typically the strongest wave in a trend. And here we had the situation in which we had a bit of a bearish news event today, quite bearish actually, um, relating to the SEC suing Binance. So you have that situation hitting a chart which had a sell off basically at least as a probable event built in. So that led to quite a drastic sell off today. I think there's no reason to panic. I mean, it's just doing sort of what we talked about. I mean, there was yesterday still the chance, obviously, to put that higher B wave in place. But even with that higher B wave, eventually the idea was to finish off the correction with another low. As long as Bitcoin, no, Ethereum doesn't prove to us that something bullish is going on. So the, the idea of a lower low was still the expectation. I mean, we still haven't done it. Bitcoin has done it. Ethereum not yet. So what does Ethereum need to do? Ethereum needs to complete now an impulse here to the downside in this C wave. The C wave is a five wave move. It looks like we've completed a wave one, a wave two. We could now be in the third wave. There should be a fourth and a fifth to finish it off. I would like to see Ethereum eventually in the region around 1660, maybe a little bit lower. I did explain it in the Bitcoin video as well. I've seen it in the past that when we had rapid sell off events like this, that the market turns early. So that means if we have rapid sell offs with high volume, then it could mean that the sellers get exhausted more quickly and the market rallies earlier than anticipated. Yeah. So obviously what we need in this structure we still need a fifth wave of a third. We need a fourth wave and a fifth wave. What could happen is that after this third wave, for example, the price is turning around. We had quite decent selling volume today. So I just pointed out as a possibility that I've seen this in the past happen quite frequently after such a strong sell off that things turn around quickly. But ultimately, we haven't got any signal that it's turning around. So without a five wave move to the upside, the that's big enough to show us that the trend has changed and a subsequent three wave pullback, we will not be able to confirm that the trend has shifted if it's turning around early. Okay, so that's just very important to understand, which means that tactically, I like to enter the market slowly on the way down, not just catching the falling knife. I mean, we are in a large uptrend. That's the assumption based on this. And we know that below 1534, things are going to get very difficult. So capital preservation, in my opinion, is still key. I'm not telling you what you need to do, but it's sort of what I think is tactically absolutely reasonable is to enter the market slowly, slowly and keep a lot of cash available for the trend reversal signal so that you already or I already, you know, have a foot in the door should price turn around early 
and then to deploy the remaining reserves, you know, or at least what is supposed to be used for that third wave rally, which should happen after the current correction is over. But first of all, I would like to see Ethereum at least go below the A wave low in this C wave down. So the A wave bottom tier on the 12th of May at 17.36. I would like to see the C wave go below that for a at least clear signal that this correction can be over. If it was turning around now, again, it would just be messy. It wouldn't be clear again. So what we want to see is moving down, hitting ideally the golden ratio and then turning around. And what you need to understand, we've literally just again reached the 50% retracement, Bitcoin as well. It still would be allowed in this particular scenario without even bringing Ethereum into trouble to drop all the way down to the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement. And that's at 1534. So that mean, means theoretically in this current structure, price could drop another 14%, which is quite, quite decent. And then a lot of altcoins may follow as well, probably with an even greater sell-off. We had a lot of altcoins suffering today. A lot of altcoins were suffering, especially Harmony 1, the Sandbox. Um, yeah, there's a few other, Silica, I think, Phantom. A lot of them suffering, unfortunately. And I think a lot of them are breaking their relevant support levels shortly. If we don't see a turnaround here by uh, Ethereum or Bitcoin. So at the moment, I think if I zoom in a little bit, just to wrap it up, I think Ethereum may be wrapping up here at the moment this fourth wave and might have bottomed today in this third of a third wave. Should get a fourth wave now. At least that's how it looks to me. It's a bit unclear because you can't, you know, trying to count the subwaves on a day where we had a rapid sell-off like that is very difficult. If you go into even more, um, into an even smaller time frame than a fourth wave and a fifth wave down, yeah. So this would be expected. And let's see, I mean... As long as Ethereum now doesn't rally impulsively above sort of $1,900, further downside is expected. Okay, that's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.